Mike Montgomery here at the 2014 GoPro Mountain Games, here to show you GoPro tricks and tips on where I specifically mount my cameras to my bike and my helmet. First off, we got the roll bar mount mounted to the forks. Super dope shot, I feel. You see the front wheel, everything coming at you from, from the trail, whether it's trees blasting, dogs jumping, bears growling, it catches everything. Camera two, the C-Post handlebar mount. Once again, blackout housing, super sleek down there. And a lot of people don't realize that you can actually mount it there. And because you think all you do is get the down tube in there. Actually, you get a lot more of the side peripheral because if you just look where, straight where the lens is, it's off the side a little bit. So a lot more of that leg action, what's coming to you, just like the roll bar mount. But this is a little bit different because it's sunk in the bike. So you see a little bit more of the action of the handlebars. All right, third camera we got today is uh, my POV underneath uh, my visor. A lot of guys run it on top. Personally, I don't like that view. So I'm all about, if you're gonna do a real POV, you're gonna see exactly what I'm doing, what I'm doing with my hands, what the trail's doing, all that stuff. So for myself, I prefer underneath the visor. Um, at first glance, you're like, well, it's pointing to outer space, but it's really not, because that's not your riding position, that is. So you'll see all your action, your brake movements, your bar spins, your tail whips, all that stuff. Yeah, that's my favorite, personally. That's what I like going to. All right guys, now that I showed you where I mount my cameras, I wanna show you the modes of the cameras. Basically all of these cameras where they're mounted as well as on your helmet are considered POV cams. So what you want for that as far as when you're setting them up is you want 1440 by 48. And I, I set mine at ProTune, which means I can go to ISO 400. So I get a taller frame, so I get a lot more action up top and the bottom. So I get the broadest spectrum I could possibly get out of my cameras. But uh, that's basically how I do it. Now you guys have got your modes all dialed in. I'm Mike Montgomery, and uh, this has been GoPro Athlete Tricks and Tips. Hope to see you out on the trail.